Hi, welcome to Yoga by Janelle. Today's class is a basic beginner's yoga class. Uh, for this class, you'll just need your mat. If you want to modify with your blocks, you may do so. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I invite you to come to the center of your mat. You're going to root down into that mat through your feet, feeling the ground firmly planted underneath of you. You want to draw your shoulders down like that, bring those palms and turn them up towards the front of the room. You're going to bring your abdominal muscles in so that your belly is almost feeling like you're going to pull it into your spine. Go ahead and begin to take a few breaths in through your nose and blowing it out. We're going to inhale, exhaling it out, inhale one more time, exhaling it out. We're going to bring a little bit of movement into your body. Go ahead and spread your legs just a couple inches here. We're going to inhale those arms all the way up, set your gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bringing it down. Inhale, lift those arms up. And exhaling it down. Inhale those arms up one more time. And take it into a slight back bend. And bringing it back up and bringing it down. Rotating your right foot to the top of your mat. We're going to step through. We're going to go into our first sun salutation. You're going to inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting up to a flat back. Exhale, hands to the ground, stepping back into plank. Or you can go up in your hands and knees. We're going to lower down all the way to the ground. Elbows should be facing the rear of the room. We're going to inhale, you're going to lift up into cobra. So all you're doing is lifting up your upper body. And exhaling it down. We're going to push up into downward facing dog. You can push up into your tabletop position first if necessary. Tuck those toes. Pushing up into downward facing dog. Lifting your hips high in the air, blowing those heels towards the ground. Keeping those abdominal muscles drawn in. Fingers should be spread apart. Head should be facing down. Bring in a little movement, walking those feet a little bit. We're gonna look up between your hands, bringing, you can walk those feet up or you can step up to the top of your mat. Gonna lift into a half lift, flat back. Exhale, all hands down to the ground. And bring it all the way back up. Gazing over your head and exhaling down to your side. We're going to inhale it up again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to step back into plank again. Or one, two, hands and knees. Lowering down to the ground. And lift it into cobra. Exhaling it down. Pushing up into down face dog. Lifting that right leg all the way up. Step all the way through to the top of your mat. You're gonna pull up into your high crescent lunge. Holding it. 90 degree angle on your knee. Back leg should be extended. Heel floating up. Hip should be squared to the front. You're gonna rotate that back heel down. Now you're in your warrior one. Keep those abdominal muscles drawn in. Gonna straighten up that front leg, rotating to the other side, going into your crescent lunge. Your knee should be tracked between the second and third toe, 90 degree angle on that knee. Rotate that back heel down, do your warrior one, get it to be square forward. Gonna rotate that foot back up onto its toe, coming down to the ground again, stepping back into plank, lowering 
down to the ground. Exhale. Inhale into cobra. Exhaling it back down to the ground. Push it up into now. Take the dog. Let's step through with your left leg. Step all the way up into your crescent. Rotate that foot down to the warrior one. We're going to open it up. Your gaze is going to be over that left arm. Continue your breath. Dropping that right arm down to your thigh. Rotate that left hand up, leaning back towards your right side. Okay, we're going to be up at your left hand. Bring it into the left side of your body. Keeping that 90 degree angle at that front. Coming back into our warrior two. Dropping your forearm down to your thigh. Then bringing that right arm up and over, leaning towards that right side. Sending that energy from that foot all the way up to the top of your head. Notice where your mind is wandering, focusing on your breath. Come back up to warrior two. We're going to go ahead and bring those legs down. We're going to rotate those feet. Going back to your high lunge, 93 angle on your right foot. Left heel should be floating. Shoulder should be down and back. Abdominal strong in. Rotate that back heel down. Keep those hips squared forward. Opening into your warrior two. Get it over that right arm. Drop that left arm down. Rotate your right arm up, leading back over to your left side, breathing into that left side. Coming back to the warrior two, dropping that forearm down, and bringing that left arm up, stretching out that left side. Again, shooting that energy from that foot all the way up through those hands. Coming back into your warrior two. And bringing that knee in. Slowly walk those feet in to the center of your mat. And we're going to go into our balance portion of our class today. In life, we have to learn how to balance ourselves. You have to balance yourself with your daily schedules, going to work, getting your rest, uh, finding time to sit down and eat, finding time to spend with your family. So just like you have to balance yourself, they are going to balance on that mat. So you got to make those little changes and, and flexibility just to be able to change to balance yourself. So we're going to root down and rooting down into that left leg. We're going to start by raising our right leg first. We're going to inhale, lift that knee up, and exhale, tap it down. You're going to inhale, lifting that knee up again, exhale, tap it down behind you. Now, if this is your balance and this is where you want to stay, you are welcome to. We're going to inhale, you can stay in this position, just lifting that knee up. We're going to push through and extend those arms forward into our warrior three. Breathing through this, find that balance, bringing that body back into alignment. We're going to do the same on the opposite side. Root down through that right foot. We're going to inhale, lift that knee up. Now tapping it down. Inhale, lifting it up. Exhale, tapping it behind you. We're going to inhale, lift it up once more. Exhale, pushing it out into your warrior three, finding that balance. If you're a little wobbly, that's expected and that's normal. That's your body's way of finding its balance. 
and coming down, we're gonna go into our tree pose. Tree pose, you can find position in many different ways. If you are using your block, you most certainly can put your foot on your block. You're gonna start, first position, we'll start with your foot, just having your toes on the ground, keeping that heel above your ankle. Second position you can take tree pose is bringing your foot between your, your ankle and your knee. Third position, you can bring it all the way up into your group. So go ahead, find your position, bring those hands to your chest and hold. You wanna find an inanimate object to stare at. Focus your attention there. Continue to breathe. One more breath. And bringing it in. And we're gonna lower it down. We're gonna go over to your left leg this time. Finding your position. Arms up. Keep those abdominal muscles tight. Continue to breathe. Finding that focal point. And bringing it down. We're going to step again, rotate that right leg up to the top of that mat once more. We're going to sit back into chair. You're going to sit your bottom back like you're going to sit in a chair, and your knees are going to go behind your toes. You're going to lift those arms up, and your, your gaze is going to be forward. We're going to inhale, sit into chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the ground. Back into plank. Gonna come all the way down onto the ground this time. Lifting into. Lifting into cobra. Inhale. Shoulders down away from your ears. Exhaling it back down. Just gonna take a moment. Bring both hands in front of you. One over the other, arm over the other. Just drop your forehead down for a moment and wrist. Allow your body to relax. Taking in a few breaths. And one more breath. And we're going to push up into our tabletop position. In tabletop, you want to have your shoulders and your wrists in alignment. You want your hips and your knees in alignment. You're going to extend that left leg out. You're going to extend your right arm out. If you need to, continue to keep both arms on the ground. We're just going to lift that leg up and bring it in. If you can bring both, we're going to inhale it. Exhale, bring it down. Just inhale, lift it. Toes together and 
spread those knees out, take back onto your heels, walk those arms forward, bringing it head to the ground, into child's pose. And we're going to come up. We're going to swing it over onto our seat. We'll spread those legs open. We're going to walk it down to the center. Bring those toes back towards your shins. With each exhale, try to deepen that stretch. One breath, and we're walking it over to the right foot, grabbing the heel, grabbing onto the ankle, grabbing wherever you can grab. And I'm walking it over to the left leg. back up to center. I'm going to bring those legs over so that you can lie down onto your mat. I'm going to bring those feet so they're planted on the ground. We're going to just cross that left leg over or left, leg, left ankle over your thigh. Pulling it back. Getting a little bit of a stretch here. Holding it. can bring those toes with your chin so that you're not stressing that knee. Lower it down to the ground. We're going to switch. Crossing that right ankle over that left thigh. Hold it up. And lower it down again. I'm going to bring those arms out to the side. We're just going to rotate those legs to the right side, turning the head to the left. And switching to the other side. And then switching one more time, up to the left. And switching to the left, nice. Ah, we're gonna bring those feet down and bring your arms down to your sides, palms facing up. We're gonna lie in Shavasana. Allow yourself to feel grounded in this position. Release all. Up your muscles, relax them, and if all that tension that you have going on, allow yourself to just exist in this moment. Notice how grounded you feel, notice how supported you feel lying on the ground.
And we're gonna go ahead and allow those thoughts to start to re-enter. Only allow those things that are gonna serve your new purpose on that day. Go ahead and take some movement to your fingers and into your toes. If you haven't returned to your normal breathing, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and roll onto your side. We're going to slowly begin to sit ourselves up into a seated position. Take a moment before you go to stand. Make sure you're not going to be dizzy. Thank you so much for joining me in class today. Please leave me a comment on how this class was for you. Like and subscribe to my channel. It'll be very much appreciated. Thank you so much.